Hey Taurus, happy autumn. This is the autumn equinox reading fall season and we are about to, you know, get ready and get into this. Just I want to share a few things. So um, you can join me over on Patreon where I am over there offering readings, weekly readings, um, as well as we're doing a bi-weekly Q&A where you can come ask your questions and get those spirit messages that you need. We do that twice a month. And that's in the first tier. In the second tier, we are, um, I have been certified for hypnotherapy. So uh, every week or like two to three times a month, I offer hypnosis for various things um, so that you can uh, take the time it is that you need to listen to those and work through anything it is that has been blocking you, that has been stifling you, that will help support you change your beliefs so that you can operate in a new way. You know, and then in the third tier, we have a lot of conjure going on over there. We are reading, cutting through spiritual materialism right now. And we recently just did a seven day autumn equinox retreat. It was really amazing. So amazing. Okay, so we are going to be doing that in the winter time as well. So if you would like to join us, go ahead and click on that link below in the description box. And yes. That is all the announcements. Oh, no. And the new moon is coming up as I record this. So if you would like to join the new moon gathering for this Libra moon, um, you can go ahead and sign up at the link below in the description. Um, go to the shop with us and you can purchase a conjure guide, the conjure tools, or sign up to get the work done for you. This is all about fair play. So this is bringing um manifestation and prosperity in like any type of legal justice related things any type of balance and harmony within your relationships um your home life you know your connections in any way whether that is in work friendship you know all of those things and you know just facilitating a lot of beauty in a very powerful way you know so yes you guys join me over on the other side all right but let's go ahead and get into this reading for Taurus what messages do you have for Taurus for this um, equinox this fall season all right Taurus so we have Mars in Scorpio in the second house Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so with Mars and Scorpio in the second house, first of all, Mars is the ancient ruler of Scorpio, right? So uh, there may be a lot of emotional growth happening, some old things that kind of been holding you back that you may not have been aware of is about to be released. Um, and this is going to help you expand on your uh, capacity to attract your capacity to um, manifest even, uh, especially when it comes to money, but also just operating and living in your self-worth and being very grounded in that as well. Um, there is, there are definitely some relationships that may be leaving. There also may be some new relationships coming in as well. And whatever relationships come in for you this, this season, they're going to be long lasting. There's going to be a lot of commitment here, a lot of love. Um, it's like you're on the path to partnership, really. Um, devotion is a good time for you to be very devoted to your spiritual practices, being devoted to yourself, being devoted to that wisdom within and connecting that and seeing that and recognizing who it is that you've become up until this point, right? Also, um, letting go of any type of whatever type of uh, connections it is that kind of, whether this is you doing this or people you deal with doing this, being in the space of kind of being deceptive or manipulative and trying to get your way, um, especially in regards to the masculine, right, and how it is that you're trying to attain whatever it is that you want or desire, right, um, it's like a need to really just know your worth, be in your worth, step up and live in your worth versus um, trying to get somebody to prove that they see you are worthy, you know you're worthy, 
And if you don't, you're learning this, 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 this season. And through that, your life is going to begin to reflect that as well. Um, it's a very strong commitment energy here. Um, very strong, even might be some marriage during this season as well. If not marriage, maybe engagement, getting ready to get married kind of thing. Um, again, on the path to partnership, uh, to marriage. <laughs> All right. So it's a lot of balance happening here um, as well. Tapping into that sense of wholeness, um, releasing any fears it is, any phobias, any um, any unsurety it is that you have had, anything that has been hidden in the dark is coming to light, is being revealed. Uh, what you did not know, you are knowing. Whatever it is that you did not recognize about yourself, you are seeing. Okay, you are, it is what it is, basically. You are, if you have not already embraced it, you are beginning to embrace that. You're beginning to connect with that so that you can fully live out life in the way in which it is that you desire to live that. You know? Okay, so we'll see. What are the messages that we have here? There may also be some transformation in your work, some change in work, um, maybe a promotion, or this could be about, be a change in how it is that you've been going about working. But more than anything, this is like very boss-like energy, doing your own thing, running your own shit um, kind of energy. Well, making money through your own means. Yeah, something is, is changing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So make sure you're being yourself. That too is Mars energy. Make sure you're being yourself. It's like you're letting go of any type of ancestral energy of expressing yourself. Um, so that because sometimes that's what's needed in order for us to tap into that sense of self worth, right? And underneath Mars, we have the crumbling. So, those are both very tower like. This is like the tower, and Mars is very tower like in itself. Okay, you have a lot of tower like energy happening here, right? So, something is shifting again, awaken and awakening is happening. You're letting go of something, maybe you're letting go of this individualism in yourself, right? Mars, maybe it's time to let go of that so that you can be prepared to be in this commitment, be in this state of devotion, right? Um, because it seems to be dark there. <laughs> you seem to, um, it's like you want to smell the roses, but it's too rocky. All right. And it's time for those walls to come down as well. Um, it's again, there's a revelation happening here for you. It's time for you to start moving forward on the path that's actually yours to be moving on. Not saying that what you're doing now isn't what you should be doing, but there's something else here. There's more. There's more here. And then under Scorpio is no. So we have wait, postpone, pause, say no. So hmm. that's very interesting. It's kind of, it's like a conflicting message in a sense. It's very conflicting. It's almost like you need to get out of this space of waiting, getting out of this space of pausing and postponing and saying no to something it is that you deeply desire, that you really want for your life. Maybe you have been saying no to partnership, to marriage in some way, and maybe you've been saying no to it in a way that you haven't been aware of, right? And, and this may be what's being being that is being revealed for you so you can begin to make that those forward strides, that forward movement to allow you to move forward, right? Because there's no energy. It's very tower as well, very Uranus. Um, Uranus is in your sign, it's in Taurus. So there are some changes in the way in which it is that you're expressing yourself, right? And this is from a very, this is from a higher perspective. This is from a space that you're not really even aware of unless you, um, 
are being very committed and devoted to your spiritual growth, to your self-help, to your mental clearing as well, right? So um, perhaps you have been hiding and it's time for you to stop that. <laughs> it's time for you to fully show who it is that you are, right? Because Scorpio is your opposite, it's your opposition. And Scorpio is very, um, they're very to themselves unless you are really close to them. And even sometimes then they don't feel, they may not feel safe enough to reveal. And sometimes they don't even know what is needing to be revealed out of that kind of, excuse me, having so many things piled on top of them, which is why they represent the underworld. All the levels are on top of them, All right? So there's really no light there. The light has to be found within, right? So um, perhaps you have been projecting a light outside of you, which hasn't actually been your light, right? So you're coming to this space so that you can really share yourself in a way that is authentic, that's genuine, um, that it's not that is it's not ex expressing so much chaos so much electrical energy, even getting out of your head space of feeling like you gotta show up in a certain way because this might happen. When you're just creating a narrative, you're creating a story, you know? Um, so the next card that's coming out is leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So it's time for you to go ahead and, and be open to the union, be open to yourself, be open to what it is that you desire, to the how it, what makes you feel good. To trust that, no, right? Because she's she's leaping off of this mountain into the no, right? So whatever it is you've been saying no to, you saying yes to this fall. It's like you are letting go of the hesitation. It is uh you are really building a sense of faith, a sense of trust within your connections, within your partnerships, within yourself even, right? Because what's facing me is the first house. It's the first house, all right? So really connecting to this very strong relationship within yourself. And it, it, it's that, let that be your um, compass of how your relationships are going to go. And then I have Libra facing me here. Your, your discernment will lead you true. Okay. What else is here for? Taurus spirit. What else is here for Taurus? What other messages do we have here for Taurus spirit? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, All here. If it can be any more clear. All right. So what I'm reading this as is like, yes, I was reading with the with the dice in, in the placements, planets, and zodiac and all that. Um, but we're also looking at this as first quarter, second quarter, third quarter of the of the season. So first quarter that came out is the Sun of Sticks. So what is crumbling, that is Mar. This is Martian energy. This is fire energy, right? So this is you coming out of that space of, um, uh, of not being passionate about who it is that you are, what it is that you desire, right? Taking initiative within your life of what it is that you want, right? Connecting with your passions. You're letting go of anything that, that blocks you from that, that stops you from that, that slows you down, that drags you, that sludge, right? That is um, weighing you down, literally, that's keeping you in a space of confusion, all right, because the five of knives come out in the second underneath on top of this no and underneath this Scorpio energy. So it has been a mind thing, a mental thing, having a lot of internal conflict, maybe a lot of cognitive dissonance that you have not even been aware of, thinking that you're operating in one way, not realizing 
that you've been having some beliefs that you've been hold, held on to that have been hidden from you that have to do with something that you picked up along the way of living that's kind of birthed within you, living in your DNA, in your blood kind of thing. And you're seeing this for true. You're being revealed to this of all the ways you've been putting out a no when you've been trying to receive a yes. All right. And, and this is coming to an end. It is... This is like letting go of, of uh, how you block yourself from loving, um, prosperous friendships, relationships, love, you know, work even, how you make your money and being able to enjoy that too, you know, a change is commencing, it's happening, right? And it's manifesting because we got the devil card, Miss Robinson on uh, out on leap here. But Mrs. Robinson, Ms. Robinson, um, so this is, you know, again, that making that choice, you're going to choose life or you're going to choose death. Which one you're going to choose um, to be happy and mind your business or you're going to be worried about what other people got to say about your business. Right. Letting go of those ideas, those thoughts of those opinions of others that do not serve you as well. Stop letting those um, ways that you do not believe in yourself, that you do not believe that you are worthy. You are letting that go. You are fully coming out of that in in this third quarter of of, of fall, you know, and really instead embracing your sense of value and sense of worth, knowing that you don't have to sacrifice any anything in order for you to have what it is that you want, to have what it is that you desire because you are worthy of this and you will have it because you said so, because you believed it to be so, that's it, that's all. <laughs> it's like there's no other way around it. It's, it's you who chooses what it is that is, is going to be your life. And it's a need for you to have faith in a real sense of trust that it will be that it shall be, okay? What else is here, Spirit? Put some love and relationship cards for you for this fall. It's worse. All right, yes, so this first quarter, you are focusing on receiving. Receiving is coming through letting all things crumble. Maybe you are receiving messages. Um, perhaps maybe you even sending out messages. This could even be you um, receiving messages simply from spirit, right, about what it is that you need to do in order to connect more to the truth of who it is that you are, how it is that you are going to be able to um be with that right so because this is about receiving love in all forms right so really embracing that and connecting with that and not not trying to box in how another um expresses their love for you but accepting that um even if it doesn't look like the way in which it is that you want it to that it is too true it's a true thing it's a real And then in Scorpio season, wholeness, tapping into your wholeness. Yes. So coming out of this space of, again, this, this two minds of a thing, this, this, when you're unaware of how it is that you're actually seeing something, it can disconnect you from all parts of yourself. But once you are revealed to that, once you have that awakening of the truth of yourself, of the truth of who it is that you are, you can then move forward and walk freely on your path on be devoted to who it is that you are to the life it is that you're building to the how to the ways in which you perceive and think things and really living and embodying that out without having to question if this is right um if you are deserving of what it is that you want because you are all right so what else is this there in depth yes <laughs> We have depth here. Um, so really getting into down to the nitty gritty of who it is that you are seeing, seeing those shadows, you know. Um, but also this is about a lot about connecting with new people, right? So having faith and trusting that um that they are a reflection of who it is that you that you share yourself to be, right? And through this, you can be yourself. You can be yourself, you know, um, 
and it's also about seeing the depth of people uh stop it's just getting out of trying to create a narrative for who it is that you think a person is and allowing them to show you, really learning who it is that they are versus assuming who it is that you think they are, right? Because we don't really be knowing people until we know people, unless we are a type of people who are just always paying attention and really always embracing and receiving a person and, and really listening to them and really holding space for them. It can be really difficult to recognize who it is a person is when you're trying to create a narrative surrounding who it is that they are, right? And maybe that's something that you've experienced growing up. Maybe you experienced a lot of people telling you who, who you were or people telling you who they thought you were or whatever or however, right? And that's created this, this space in you um, doing the same thing to people. Maybe that's what has been blocking you from your yeses, right? By not really being able to experience the wholeness of a person instead of um, just seeing a layer of them. Have you asked them about their past? Do you really know about their past? Do you really know who they was then, right? And how it is that that has manifested them now, right? And can you can you pay attention to um, how you fit into that, right? How how do you, uh, how is it that that they're showing up with you reveals that to you? And can you see a little bit of where they're going based off of what they've been through and where they are, how well, and, and, and the feats it is or the greatness it is that they have evolved into, but even yourself. All right, this is not just about other people, it's also about you. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> what else do we have for the spirit for Taurus? All right, so in the first quarter, we have the 11th house. So this is you focusing on your goals, right? So connecting to this sense of vigor, taking that initiative, receiving that love and being open to that, connecting with people, um, starting something new, you know, you're learning as you go as well and being very true to yourself, being very honest with yourself, brutally honest about what has to be removed from your life so that you can meet your goals, so that you can have the friendships it is that you want, so that you can build with those that you want. What, how is it that you, you, you are needing to show up in a new way, right? Because what's crumbling has not, been, has not been serving you with the sun of sticks coming out. It's like, it's time for you to reignite your passions and your, the truth of who it is that you are. It's time you're letting your, your skin shed embrace your dark and your light and live let that live through you all right <laughs> ride your dragon don't let that don't let it handle you all right let hold your ego close all right so that it can help propel you so it can help you in your confident of being right you ego is a lot about your desires right but you don't have to manipulate your way there you can simply be you in all parts, in your wholeness. You can be all of that. You can be dark and light. You are the dark and the light, all right? You are the sun. You are the moon and the stars. You are the sun and the stars. You are the, the, you are the, the heavens in the underworld. You exist in all realms, all right? All timelines. If you believe in that, I should say. All right, let's see. What else is going on here, spirit? What else? For second quarter, we have Sagittarius, so wholeness. You find wholeness in your truth, on your path, being honest with yourself. Maybe it's a time to take a trip. Maybe you need to travel somewhere so that maybe you need to go on a spiritual retreat here. Right, so that you can calm your mind, so that you can see the truth of things, so that you can take a break from all the chaos that's going on outside of you, so that you can really reconnect with yourself, that you can ground within yourself, really be in and with yourself, right? This could also be you connecting with someone who can help you align with this. Maybe you're expanding your knowing, your knowledge within yourself. It might be a good time to connect with your genealogy. I don't know, that's coming up. Um, right and but this is also about your spirituality your soul self connecting and aligning with that and being true to that being with that right so um what what is that for you 
how do you express that? What is the wholeness of that for you, right? It's time for you to master these energies for yourself. Okay, so what else is here? Taurus spirit, what else do we have here for Taurus? All right, and we have the fifth house here, okay? So this is about reconnecting with that inner child energy, right? Going back to that space of innocence when you weren't in a in this space, like the, the devil doesn't really exist until we begin to take on opinions and ideas from the outside, right? Up until the point we turn seven, like we're fairly innocent. We're fairly very much in our own right, in our own self of things. I'm um, still very much so working and learning and loving in a way that is very pure and natural for us. Um, and that can even go up until the time we 13. But sometimes by that, between that eight and 13, we begin to experience so much that it takes us away from the inner child energy, the space of innocence. But it's important for you to express the depth of you. It's also important for you to, to let others know that you see them, that you see them, right? You recognize them, right? I, I see the God in you. I see... I see the, uh, my, the God in me recognizes the God in you, right, kind of energy. Um, but this is also about what it is that you're creating, what you're building, how it is that you make your money, and how you about to come into this, right? You need to trust that what it is that you're doing is going to support you, is going to serve you, that it is, it is coming to fruition. Things are coming to fruition. But it's important that you make sure that you are... Um, are not keeping things on the surface. It's really a need to go very deep with your connections, right? Because when we that surface level, it's e it makes it thing it makes things easy, right? It, it it puts us in the space of judgment very quickly. But if you can't see all the moving parts, you don't really know what it is that you're looking at. You don't really know what it is that you're dealing with. The conversation it is that you're having with that person at that time right because you're not recognizing where it is that they are within themselves you know so whew, keep pushing all right keep going now let's see what's going on for the sun moon and rising of taurus sun moon and rising taurus people sun moon and rising. So for sun kind of similar to rising, you know, it's important that you persevere, that you be committed, know that you will protect it, um, keep your guards up, um, have, keep your boundaries up as well, but continue to go forward because you are at a space where you are closing old doors behind you. Okay, um, you are coming to a space of ending old things that um, have been keeping you in a cyclical loop. Like this is something very ancestral for you this uh, season, Taurus. You are really coming into a new space of, of you, of your own sense of purpose, your own sense of who it is that you are, how it is that you express yourself, what it is that you're creating, right? And, and you're, you're taming that wild beast within you that can um, sometimes be, can think, can go before it knows what it is it's actually going for, right? And, and this is you cultivating a sense of steadfastness, Right, so that you can do things in a very um, particular way that is going to be long lasting, that is going to um, support you for some time. Right, this is also speaking about whew, what else is this here, spirit? Okay, so also know that um, it's also important for you to pay attention to who just is not serving your best interests. Oh, just being honest, you know know that you don't have any enemies and anybody who is 
um, considering them themselves your enemy, they fighting with war with themselves and got nothing to do with you. All right. So um, don't even worry about it, honestly, because again, you are protected. You know, you you run with the wolves. <laughs> it's that simple. All right. So for moon, you have some messages coming through. Things are changing for you in a way that is it's no no returning. It's an, you have this eight as well, right? So again, this is a part of you that has existed for a really long time, right? That is, has kind of been um, keeping things out of your sight. You are having an awakening. Things that you did not know once before, you know now, all right? If not, if, if not at the beginning, if you don't already know it right now, by the time we go into winter, you're gonna realize and be like, oh wow, I did not realize that it's like a missing piece is coming forward for you, right? And helping you change your the fabric of your nature in a way that you don't have to concern about going back, going back. You're just gonna be doing you in a new way, right? And spirit is here to support you in this, right? It's moving, things are moving very swiftly for you this, this fall, Taurus moon. What is this? Mm -hmm. You're coming into a new, again, a new understanding. Um, the path it is that you maybe have been on, you may be seeing this differently as well. You may be getting some truths that were very necessary for you to understand in order to move forward and be able to carry out whatever, anything, just whatever it is, right? So Taurus rising, we have the Hierophant. So this is about traditions. This is even about marriage. So some of you may be getting married. Some of you may be very focused on your traditions. Some of you may be changing your state when it comes to tradition. Whatever it is that you thought you wanted, you may be changing that, right? Um, you're also coming into a lot of wisdom this 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 season. You're connecting to um, a sense of, of self, a sense a sense of self, a sense of being um, that is going to break the state it is that you've been being that you've been in up until this time, up until this point, right? Is going to allow you to be able to um, live authentically, I should say, in a more authentic nature, right? And and really be able. There may be some wisdom here that you have to share with others through this as well. What it is that you've learned along the way. You may also be needing to connect with somebody to support you on a spiritual level, right? Because the Hierophant is the right hand to the emperor, to the, the, the royalty, right? So um, it may be important for you to connect with somebody who can help guide you through these new steps, guide you through this change, or perhaps you're being that for someone, Whatever position it is that you're in, um, it's very important that you be open to this so that you can manifest the way what it is that you want in the way in which it is. So this is not necessarily about taking somebody's opinion in or somebody's way of doing something and doing it that way. But this is about having somebody who can help you see what you cannot see. That's it. That's it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close out this reading. So make sure you being yourself. If you're going to do it, ain't no need to defend yourself. Just do it anyway. <laughs> Don't be going in this whole space of explaining yourself. Not everybody needs or desires your explanation. All right. Focus on the path it is that you're on. Right. And you have contribution here. So recognize how it is that you are um, supporting others. Now is the time to try something new as well. All right. Get very clear on where it is that you're going, how you're going about it. Like I said, however it is that you've been doing things up until this point, they are changing. It's different. You know, um, let's go on this. Is a road tonight. Yeah. So you need to you need to feel your fears. You need to follow your heart. You need to go with your heart. All right. I don't know why I'm feeling so motherly with you, Taurus. But I feel like it's just like, hey, 
you know, what is it that you want? You need to really stop worrying about everybody else. Do what it is that you want to do, okay? Wherever it is that you have been leaving yourself out of, it's time for you to bring your energy into it, right? Offer your helping hand. Accept helping hands. Same as Taurus, same as Aries, all right? Whatever it is that you've been investing in, is you're getting a payoff, a payback. It's coming in through money, all right? Through materialization. This even could be a psychic um, growth and awareness of self and things of that nature. But it's all really good. It's a lot of good transformations happening here. A lot of growth happening here. A lot of awakening, enlightenment happening here during as we go into the darkest season, all right? And everything is good is paying off pay attention to how it is that the truth your intuition is guiding you right what 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 you trying to get to that's your focus that's your aim if right now where you add if it's not aligning to where you see your future it's time to change it if you think it's been working and, and the shit been chaotic <laughs> it ain't working granted chaos is always gonna be a thing but if it's always if, if it's always back to back to back like and if it's especially if it be like a new sense of chaos right it's like oh i thought i got over i thought i got past this kind of thing you need to ask why am i still dealing with this shit in a new form right? Especially if it's one of those things. How can you change the expression? How can you change the frequency, the vibration, right? What, what needs to happen here? What's going on here? It's time to get out some cycles, some karmic things that you've been tied to, that you've been held on to. Time to do some cleansing. You want to do some Olympias. Go see somebody who can give you a bath, a spiritual bath, whether it's an egg bath, um, a spiritual something that can do some cleansing, root work for you or something. Get into it, all right, because it's here. It's here, all right? So, Taurus, I love y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful fall. Let me know how this resonates for you. If it does, make sure that you like this video. If you are still here, thank you for sticking around for the whole reading, and I will see y'all in the wintertime. Um, <laughs>